Hi, my name is Ari Crow. What makes me queer? Um, well, what makes me queer is that, you know, I, I just see, like, queerness as a space where I can feel validated. It's, um, for me, it's about ambiguity. Um, I mean, I feel like the moment I start trying to define what queer is, you know, when I think about defining it is when I kind of go against what I believe queer is for me, because it's totally this ambiguous space that I feel like I can just travel in and feel good in and feel in between because I love that and I don't need to choose and I can kind of like branch away in many ways within that ambiguous space and I can still feel validated for myself. So for me, uh, being queer is just a way to to empower myself and to validate myself. In high school I kind of like was figuring out that I, I feel very transgender. I feel like a woman. I've always, you know, felt transgender and I think I'm transgender at its best definition, but being genderqueer has has allowed me to just feel really, really comfortable. And so choosing that identity along with being trans has just been absolutely wonderful. I'm very, very femme. I'm I almost identify I'd say as hard femme. You know, I like I like to take femininity, put some leather spikes and spikes and everything nice upon that femininity and just like play with femininity, play with gender. I love to play with gender. But I've been boxed in my body, you know, for a long time, and I just don't want to be boxed again, so that's why I just love the queer space. So identifying as queer, identifying as genderqueer, hard femme, you know, empowering even my, my sex, my assigned sex as male, but, you know, being an androgynous male, um, being trans, all those identities are really, you could say, quite important to me. Being femme, being a feminist is a huge identity for me. So yeah, definitely. I love identities because I think they help build community as well as just help, you know, help you just feel like you can define yourself in, in a really awesome way. Yeah, I want to keep <laughs> defining myself. We're all so different and it's so fun to like be able to relate yourself to a bunch of different things like whether I call myself a fairy or you know, what have you. It's just, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love identities. I think, you know, I, I think everyone's gender is just so different, right? So when we, when we identify as transgender, I just think it's important to be able to define, you know, where you are on that gender spectrum. And I think being genderqueer kind of allows you to do that. And I can go on and on, like, forever about why genderqueerness is so important. Not just for my identity, but politically and um, socially and, you know, for doctors and people to understand what queerness is because I feel like people think if you're transgender then you're, you're, you're on that binary, you're, you know, you're on that opposite between man and woman. Well, I just think that's not fair to people who, you know, are transgender but want to identify, you know, to a certain kind of femininity and a certain kind of masculinity. I feel like genderqueer allows for that person to kind of decide where they are on that spectrum. I mean, you know, if you want to access hormones or if you want to access certain transition needs, being able to define and regulate your own transition in that way I think is important. So it's really important for doctors to understand gender queerness because we don't really have the privilege to be able to play with gender. If we are transgender, we have to prove almost that we're transgender. And I, I find that really problematic. So I like to validate gender queerness as being you know, a shade of being transgender. Looking at transgender as like an umbrella term for myself is really important. Now I do, I locate my voice when I say that because it's important for me to, uh, you know, to say this is for me because everyone's going to define these terms differently and that's the great thing about being queer. Um, but yeah, being genderqueer is just so wonderful to me because, I mean, like I said, I just don't like being boxed. I love to just branch away and play with gender and it just it validates me and empowers me in such a beautiful way. I just I love it. When I first looked at pornography, uh, you know when I you know through throughout understanding pornography, I never saw myself being in porn until I googled queer porn. <laughs> Google is your friend, and I found Courtney Trouble's porn, and I, I just found it so beautiful. I found it magical, and um, you know it was a space where I feel like maybe my body wouldn't be so necessarily fetishized in a way. Um, but at the same time, that's not always a bad thing, but I, I just felt like it was a space where I could feel comfortable for me, you know, because that's, that's not something I necessarily wanted for myself. Um, you know, what I can feel like I can bring to porn 
is definitely my politics and, you know, being a non-passing transgender person that doesn't really necessarily want to pass because I kind of see passing as, as something that should be defined for yourself, so I want to pass for me, you know, not for anyone else. And, you know, in porn, that, that goes in the same way, you know, because when you see trans people in porn, it's usually, you know, there's, you see the trans woman and um, she's, she's usually very passable and, you know, her, her genitals aren't usually being touched. They're kind of just there. And um, I don't know, I just want to, I want to bring my body into queer porn and make it something that, that I can really feel validated in and, and that I can make it my own. And, and I just think that, I, I just think that's really beautiful. That's how I want to be perceived in porn is like, not necessarily as being trans, but as just being myself. And I just, I find that awesome. No, I don't want to dismiss the trans thing, but I just, I want it to be there while my body is just there and being recognized, you know, in all its, in all its maybe imperfections in, its, in a way, you know, in a, in a, mm -hmm. and I find that kind of just beautiful and magical about queer porn. You know, mm -hmm. we don't, we don't necessarily, you know, make bodies look perfect or a certain way there's no there's no sense of standard it's like it's queer it's mm -hmm. it's that's mm -hmm. what's so great about it mm -hmm. and um yeah politically i just think that um a lot of porn stars are generally in a way shamed for being porn stars whether it's slut shaming or it's just people just have this weird um uh, you know they see they see porn stars and they they have this uh weird stigma attached to people who are in porn and you know, as a trans person that wants to be in porn and a part of queer porn, this might, it just like, it's difficult for me to understand that it might surprise people that I've gained a lot of respect for myself and I've had to, to be in queer porn as a trans person and like really analyze myself and, and understand why I want to do this, why it's so important to me and, and why I see it as such like a free space where I can have a good time and and feel validated. I love that question and I wish I was like really more like prepared to answer it. Um, I wasn't totally into the kink community for a long time. It's always been kind of like around me and I've had friends that are into it and I um, you know as someone who's been on the internet for a while I've, I've kind of dipped into some kink communities on the internet but I've never really been able to dip my feet in it too much because I, I don't know maybe I've been too shy maybe I've been unsure of what I want, so I've been dealing with that, but um, as far as kink goes, and you know, I'm understanding that there's a difference between kink and fetish, but as far as those two things goes, I'm, I'm learning more about myself and things that I like. Like, I really like breath play, I really like uh, being dominated in a way. Yeah, I'm realizing with kink that maybe I like to dominate sometimes, maybe I like to be on top in a way, and I just like to kind of play with those ideas and however that looks, you know. I don't know, it's just like, I just love experimenting and I love the idea of experimenting with kink and fetish in the future. But I haven't, yeah, I'm not too involved nor have too much experience with uh, the kink community, so I'm excited to get more involved in the future. You know, before I decided like I wanted to transition in some way, I wasn't really, you know, connected to my sexual self. Like, I masturbated every once in a while, but it wasn't... Nothing felt genuine about it, nothing felt authentic. When I started transitioning, I just, I really tapped into that, just that sexual identity and I started, you know, understanding myself as a sexual being more and as something that can be spiritual and, and just wonderful and just connecting to myself more through sexuality has been a really awesome experience. It's been awesome. It makes me blush. Um, masturbating. I, you know, my body's been like almost changing through, you know, going on hormones. It's like masturbation has become very different. There's a lot of more, a lot more kind of mental work that goes on. A lot more self foreplay, you know, touching myself and, and uh, I, I definitely love to watch porn to get off. Um, I love having anal stimulation. Um, yeah, that, that really helps me get off and just some good porn. Definitely on some good vibes, feeling, feeling comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> feeling good. I love lacy stuff. Yeah, I love spikes and leather. Um, all of that stuff is real fun to me. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm also still venturing into that. I, f I feel like I may always be venturing, but that is definitely something I'm still venturing in because when I'm with my partner, I don't necessarily care what I'm wearing, but mm -hmm. I like to have fun with uh, clothes sometimes, but... You know, I think the best 
the best uh, the best outfit is just like no outfit. <laughs> so um, you know that's that's usually how that goes. Is it's like starting naked. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Scene. Okay. <laughs>